Hey everybody, um, you notice that things are a little different this time um, I'm doing an audio. Um, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that the Lord says that help is on the way. Now I have to uh, apologize to you guys because I should have been on here on Wednesday um, when the Lord originally gave me this, but um, I was like, um, I don't know. <laughs> so um, what happened was Wednesday morning I was at the park and I was just kind of people watching and I saw two women putting up like a tent like a tarp and they were really struggling to do it and I was watching them struggle and uh, this man came over and helped them and I thought that was really nice. I was like, oh, that's that's really cool, you know. Um, and as he was helping them, I heard the Lord say, help is on the way. Now, sometimes some of the things that the Lord says to me, I just think I'm, you know, just tripping or whatever. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I really heard that. But, you know, I, so, so sometimes I, I kind of tend to gloss over it. And um, so I, I didn't uh, really think too much of it. Um, but maybe like a few minutes later, a friend out of nowhere sent me a hundred dollars and I was just like, oh my gosh. And the Lord reminded me of what he told me, um, you know, a few, a few minutes before that help is on the way. And so I was just like, oh my gosh, wow, I can't believe this. And I was just kind of sitting there. And I was like, you know, when the Lord does things like this, you know, I tend to just get very overwhelmed and it it just, you know, it overshadows me and, you know, the Lord's glory just overshadows me and um, it, you know, it takes it, it I, I describe it as, you know, God taking a sledgehammer to my day. <laughs> Because, you know, that's what it feels like. Um, I'm, you know, I was constantly thinking about, oh my gosh, I just got a hundred dollars. And, you know, I had to go back home and I, I had to lay down and take a nap <laughs> because I was so overwhelmed. And I was like, ah, I was like, I can't, I can't right now. Um, so I, I really had to take like a 30 minute nap just to get myself together. Um, but when I woke up, I was just, um, you know, I told my I tell my friends in this um, like little Bible study group that I'm in, I told them about it and I told them what God told me. I told them that um, the Lord said that help is on the way. Um, and I thought that was it. I was like, I don't know if you want me to like <laughs> release this as a video, Lord. Um, but no, the, the Lord kept uh, placing the burden on my heart to, to release this. So, um, you know, here I am. That's why I'm here. Um, but I saw something very interesting yesterday. Um, oh, um, <clears throat> also, the help is on the way thing. Um, the Lord, um, the Lord wants you guys to know that um, He said that help is coming, but He wants you to don't try to force it. You know, don't try to ask people for help like it's not going to be help that that you ask for like it's going to be somebody is either going somebody is either going to randomly do it like either god is going to directly help you um or or somebody by you know moving by the lord uh the lord's holy spirit is going to bless you and help you um you know in, in this instance with me with my friend um, the Lord told her to send me a hundred dollars, but however, um, some, somebody else may, uh, you know, encounter a stranger and without knowing what your situation is, your, that stranger may help you or, you know, um, the Lord might lead you into telling them, um, what your situation is, but really, you know, let the Holy Spirit lead you. Do not get into any witchcraft or, or any uh, Jezebel manipulation or anything like that, like, oh, you know, well, just, you know, you know if, if you're being manipulative or not, so don't try to manipulate anything. I've had uh, four different people help me this week, 
Um, and, you know, the Lord is bringing it back to my mind. I've had four different people help me this week. Um, two, well, only one of those people I didn't know. Um, two were my friends, and one of them uh, was a friend, but they weren't a believer. So God will even send people who aren't believers to help you. Um, because you bless them in some way. So just keep your eyes open and pray that the Lord um, makes you aware of the help that he sends. Um, and the Lord also, he doesn't want you to hinder him by trying to put him in a box. Um, and, and, you know, how you how we tend to put him in a, in a box is we tend to try to think about, you know, our we hear something like help is in the way and our minds try to our minds do what it was created to do you know it tries to deduce and figure out um what's going to happen and how it's going to happen and when it's going to happen but god just wants you to just be um take his word as truth and expect him to help you um but also do not try to twist God's arm about anything um, because you can very well miss the help that he sends you because you're too busy looking for it you know the way that you've envisioned it um, and another thing that I wanted to tell you guys yesterday um, I was walking to the store and um, as I was going to the store I saw a van, oh, I passed by a rent -a center and um, I saw a van parked outside the rent -a center um, it was like the rent -a center van and on the side of it it said worry free living is closer than you think and I kind of did a double take because I knew that there was the Holy Spirit speaking to me and I got excited but I was like wait a minute I was like worry free living is closer than you think and I, I took it and in the first few seconds I saw it, I took it as, yay, you know, I'm going to get what I'm praying for. But the Lord, the Lord kind of, you know, corrected me and he was saying no, you know, because thinking about it, if I gave you everything you want, um, you're still going to have problems. You know, life is still going to try to knock you down. Right. Um, so and I was I asked God in my mind, I said, OK, so um what is what do you mean by this worry free living um and the lord uh just reminded me of um you know how he wants us to cast our cares on him cast all our anxieties on him take up his yoke on us because you know the it's light it's a light burden um and um and that's what the lord is wanting us to do um he wants us to to be open and transparent with him about how we feel and what we need. Um, when I was meditating on this um, this morning, I heard the Lord ask me personally, he asked me, how can I help you today? And I was like, oh my gosh, like the Lord is asking me how he can help me. He's asking what I want him to do for me today. And you know, I was very careful about what I asked the Lord because, you know, I could ask the Lord for a hundred dollars or something like that. But in that moment, for this day, I really don't need a hundred dollars. Even when my friend sent me a hundred dollars, like I, I didn't really immediately need it for anything. Um, but it was just something to quicken my spirit, you know, to to encourage me and and lift me up and so um you know i just you know i i have i have it you know i i tithed on it and stuff um but you know a hundred dollars wasn't what i needed today money wasn't really what i needed today um you know i i thought about what i need today at the most basic of levels and uh, I looked at, um, you know, I get these little Apple News articles uh, alerts on my phone and I saw them post about Juneteenth and um, they said that Juneteenth originally was a day of quote unquote indescribable joy. And I was like, oh, that's good. I was like, God, that's what I want today. I want indescribable joy. 
And, uh, you know, I launched off into asking God for peace. And, you know, um, just, you know, the, the, the various fruits of the Spirit. And I asked God, um, you know, things that were based on his character. I asked him, um, God, provide for me today um, in, a, in the way that you see fit. Um, keep me safe today. Protect me. God, fight for me today. Um, you know, just impart to me righteousness today. Um, all these things that God is always ready to do and that God does anyway because that's who he is. You know, I and I began to just worship him and thank him. And, um, you know, I was, I was just, I was feeling just very lighthearted because of, um, you know, he, he asked me, how can I help you today? And it really just, wow, how can you help me today? And that's what the Lord is saying to all of you. How can I help you today? And, you know, he wants you to kind of think about that tomorrow and the next day. And, you know, when he said to me, how can I help you today? It really just yanked my focus. It yanked my focus to where, you know, back to where it needed to be because, you know, we can stress about tomorrow and the next day and next week and next month. But really, God just centered my attention on today. And he said, how can I help you today? And suddenly my burden didn't seem so heavy. You know, it, it, it was only today, you know, that, that I could tackle and, you know, that I could walk with him with. And I realized that today I have shelter, I have clothing, I have food. Um, those are the most basic things that I need and I already have them. So, you know, I really ask God for, you know, mainly the fruits of the spirit and, um, you know, him to do the things that, um, he's doing anyway that, that are within his character. But, you know, I was worshiping him through it. Um, and I know this seems super cheesy, but, you know, I can get to where I want to get, um, tomorrow or even by the end of this day. But, you know, what's that going to do if I don't have peace? What's that going to do if I don't have self-control? What's that going to do if I'm not faithful? You know, it's not going to do anything. I'm going to lose it or I'm going to make it an idol. I'm not going to focus on God. So my prayer for you guys is that um, you put your focus on God and you throw your worries onto him. And oh, another thing, guys, when I was telling my friends about what happened with the help stuff and how God just like overshadowed me and how in awe and overwhelmed, like I just felt like, you know, as I was typing to them, my hands were shaking because, you know, I realized that I had, you know, I had an encounter with God, you know, and God brought my memory back to the word I did on June 5th, I want to say, um, about the glory of God and the cascade of promises. And I'm going to link that in this, in the description. Um, but God really just brought my attention back to that where the, you know, how he said that he was going to overshadow us this month. And I was just, I was like, wow, God, like it's starting, like it's starting to happen, you know? And, um, you know, Juneteenth is such an important day um, because, you know, not only was it, an, was it an important day for the slaves that realized that they were free, um, because if you don't know what Juneteenth was, it was a day um, where in 1867, I think it was, 18, no, it was 1865, um, it was first celebrated in 1867, I believe, but um, they... they um, found out that they were free um when it was the slaves in texas they found out they were free um the emancip the emancipation proclamation was signed two years earlier um but they had no idea because their owners didn't tell them they thought they could they could just get away with i'm um, not saying anything but you know at this point they were forced to um acknowledge that okay yeah that you guys are actually free you guys have been free for like two years but um the slaves didn't know that at the time and um yeah and so that was called a jubilee day because it was a day of great joy and when i was when i was reading up on you know i had a few weeks ago not a few weeks ago maybe like a week and a half ago i was looking up juneteenth to see what day juneteenth fell on and um 
when I was I scrolled down and I saw like uh, the different names for Juneteenth and I kind of my spirit kind of leapt because when I saw it was also called Jubilee Day you know I remembered oh my gosh yes it is Jubilee is another word for Juneteenth how could I have forgotten that and God began to remind me of part of a word that I gave a few months ago um, about him saying that this would be a year of Jubilee and the Lord reminded me too uh, about the, the the verse about the year of the Lord's favor how um, this is the year of the Lord's favor toward those he loves but um, he's taking vengeance upon um, you know his enemies he is um, pouring out his anger and his wrath on his enemies and um, I often read that and I think about um, the enemies of the heart of the, of the soul um, you know which is these these spirits that try to keep us captive you know we might we are free in Jesus but some of us are still captive to some things some of us are still weighed down by the burden of um, certain sins and if you take that to God he is faithful to fight for you because he is Jehovah Nisi and he is your banner and he's gonna fight for you he is going to uh, knock those demons out of the park and if you are dealing with something I I really encourage you to be open and transparent before God because he knows anyway you know and um, another thing guys um, I always forget to put this in my videos but um, please email me if you know you have any prayer requests or if you're going through anything you need advice or if you just I don't know if you want somebody to talk to I try to respond to everyone I can sometimes the Holy Spirit tells me not to respond to certain ones but um, you know please know that um, if the Holy Spirit allows me to I will respond to your email um, I can't give out personal prophecies somebody asked me to do that and um, I was like sorry I can't help you I you know I could only do that as I'm moved by the Holy Spirit to do so um, so I don't really have the ability to do that you know um, the Lord doesn't want the Lord doesn't want you know people viewing prophets as fortune tellers because we're not you know I get my power from God and you know you can get you can get a personal prophecy by just talking to God you know reading your Bible you know um, God has plenty of things to say God is always speaking um, God is speaking right now you know if you take this to the Lord which you're supposed to do anyway you know always take um, what you hear to the Lord um, it you know if it really just stirs your spirit and ask him to reveal more to you about it and just wait on him wait on him to respond um, but I want to pray for you guys just very quickly Father God, we thank you and we worship you for this word. We thank you for your help. We thank you that we serve a God who is always willing to help us and who is just full of mercy and grace. And you're the king of the universe and you decide that you want to help us, that you love us so much that you sent your son to die for us, God. So I pray over every ear that is listening to this word, God, I pray that you just lift their spirit up, God, remind them that help is on the way, God, and open their eyes to see around them and see when, when you bless them with that help, God, allow them to recognize it, allow them to recognize it, and I pray that we, we, we repent, we repent for um, putting you in a box and forcing our expectations upon you and getting disappointed with you when we when you don't move in the way that we expect you to God so we praise and we honor you for anything that you want to do in our lives today and God I pray that anybody who is held captive by any type of sin habitual sin spirit God I pray that you release them in the name of Jesus if there's anybody who doesn't know what they're doing but they know something is off God please reveal it to them please reveal it to us what we are doing um, that we need to repent from God how can we get back into fellowship with you pure and un unadulterated God I pray for anybody who is knowingly sinning but will not 
do anything to confront the issue. I pray that you get in their face, God, and you convict them and you lead them to repentance by your kindness, God. In the name of Jesus, anybody who's struggling with with lust or lack or poverty, gluttony, anger, God, I pray that you break it in the name of Jesus, God. Whatever they're dealing with, God, if they are a captive of anything except the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, bring them into freedom right now, the full freedom that you died for on the cross. I call it done. I call it done in the name of Jesus. And I lose peace over every ear that's listening to this word. I lose joy. I lose freedom. I lose gentleness, God. I lose healing in the name of Jesus. So God, I pray and I thank you for, for your willingness and your quickness to do these things. And I ask this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.